body condition scoring is either like with manual palpation or with a caliper. So you go to this lumbar region over here, which is just cranial to the, the flank, okay, just to orientate yourself. And you palpate for the spinous processes, the transverse processes, okay, and then you feel that angle like in between, okay. So take note how firmly you have to palpate or whether you even have to palpate firmly at all. With a 2.5, um, which is the lowest you'll probably see in these pigs, none of these pigs really would be a 2.5, um, you won't even have to palpate really, okay? You'll feel it very easily. With a 3, you have, a, you have to start palpating quite firmly to feel either of the processes. And with a 3.5, not saying you won't be able to feel them, but you'll have to palpate exceptionally um, firmly. And with a four, you won't really be able to feel them regardless of how hard you palpate. And with regards to this angle between the processes, um, with a three, the angle will be more straight, like that, as opposed to a 3.5 where it starts curving, and then a four where it's like completely curved. She would be a 3.5. method to do is the caliper okay the caliper is put in that same position as you palpated um, so over there and as you can see between I, ideal and fat okay um, however it should be noted that this caliper is calibrated for a pregnant cell so it is going to be a little bit inaccurate in a, a non-pregnant cell The way we do the back fat measurement in this case, in the live pig, okay, is going to be at the use of a Renko and it's going to be at the P2 position. The P2 position is the last rib, okay, so you find the last rib or a trick, it's in the same position you actually put the caliper in, it's in that similar position over there because palpating for pig ribs can be difficult, okay. So in this position, you move 6.5 centimeters down from the midline, the last rib, and then you go and you place your Renko. You go and you place your Renko over there, and it will give you a millimeter reading, and that measures how thick the back fat is. In a carcass, the way we measure back fat is the use of a probe. That's only in a carcass, not a live thing. And that's basically a little blade that also gets put into the P2 position and actually yeah, you can measure the thickness of the, the back. Fat.